never be able to recreate that intro for this one. I'm so disappointed. Despite the fact it was just me eating a one of those stupid peppers. Oh yeah, I remember that. Alright guys, welcome back to Mario Party 1, which we are redoing this level because we lost like eight and a half minutes of audio. Welcome everybody, I'm your god Koopa Troopa. Now comes the battle with Bowser. Bowser has failed to bring your adventure to an end. He's entrenched his volcano. Entrenched in his volcano. Entrenched, really? And is forcing you to fight. Bowser awaits you at the top of the volcano summit. Whoever, whoever can defeat that Bowser is a true superstar. Oh, that Bowser. I have one piece of advice. Even now the volcano looks as if it may erupt. Don't excite it. Don't step on the uh, happening spaces. Now then, let's decide the turn order. All right. I missed getting those ones. Oh, wait, really? Uh, I was gonna say, I could still get it? Well, that's, that's somewhat decent, Owen. First or third? I don't remember what happened. This is the project where you kept getting, like, first or third, and I kept, like, just going all over the place with mine. I'm pretty sure I was in every single position at least once. Yeah. I know. <laughs> that's the exact opposite of my old one. <laughs> my old one would heat up the room by a good 10 degrees difference for the rest of the house. Alright, so, first and foremost, since it is Mario Party 1, it's not wise enough to keep the settings like they should be. Back to game. So, for Bowser's Magma Mountain, this is going to be fun repeating this, the main gimmick of this board is the two things. One, it already mentioned, don't land on the happening spaces. If you do that, it will turn every single blue space on the board red. So, the only safe spots will be stuff like the one-player minigames, the chance times, uh, other happening spaces. The rest of them will all be red where you lose coins. The other thing is these junctions that you'll see quite frequently in the area. Most of them are shortcuts. One of them is actually required. And the one that's required is up here in the top left. Whenever you normally try to take one of these shortcuts, you'll pay 10 coins and you'll roll a roulette similar to the mushroom getting a poison or regular. If you get the star, you get to go through the shortcut. If you hit the Bowser, you have to go the other way and you basically just used up your 10 coins for nothing. On this one right here, I don't believe it forces you to pay the 10 coins, but if you get Bowser, it will obviously take you to Bowser, where he will either take coins or a star, and obviously getting the star will take you to Boo. Uh, other than that, it's fairly normal board. Okay, why am I getting good rolls? This is com this is not good. This is not this does not bode well for me. I was gonna say, watch it be like whack a plan. I'm gonna get off to a great start. Oh, even better. Uh, just when we thought we were rid of these things. <laughs> Fantastic! That's a great way to start. Uh, do we have pedal power yet? I think we had the AI play at once. Yeah. Light up the room before you get caught by being rotate the control stick to light up the light bulb. So it's a rotate the control stick. Yeah. Of course, you guys already saw this, or will see this in the uh, minigame island. Oh, I so got you. I so got you. So got you. Yeah! Nice. Eh, could have been worse. I'm rich. Oh, I just realized. You know what this means? Hmm. It's still entirely possible you're going to get Ghost Guess again. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the game that keeps on giving. Mario wants to join Team Red. Gosh, <laughs> you're just gonna switch roles with me now? I'm gonna get all the good ones and you just get like one, two, and three over and over. Apparently. Alright, what do we got? Oh great, Mars gonna get a giant lead from this. Yeah. Yay, more coin shower flower. Wow, that looks really cool. We play these games, right? All the time. That coin was like going into the wall. Can't see any of 
I know, I was supposed to say, that's actually a good strategy to have all the coins fall off the back half of it, because I can't see anything. Finish. I think I got like four. It's hard to tell since you can see that half the screen. I have three. Oh, three, three, two, and twenty-three. Yeah, that's no surprise. Ah, there's the one. The game is just giving me a false sense of security. Mario just really wants to land on those red spaces. It's yeah, twice in a row. Oh, look at minus block. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have ten coins. <laughs> Not anymore. See, the thing, whenever you get a minus block, you always roll like an 8 or higher. Yeah. Remember, that was the one that DK actually didn't have enough for the star, because he had 29 coins and then got the minus block and he rolled a 10. Yeah. And he got to the star, but didn't have enough money for it. Uh, like, that is just a slap in the face. Alright, Mario, let's see what you got. Oh, no. I was really hoping for a bomb skip ball. That one really liked me on this project. Yeah. All right. Yeah, really. Let's see what happens. Ready? Go. <laughs> nice job, Peach. And we're dead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We made it farther, do we get money? Famous last words. You don't need the break for this game. Oh no. I ruined everything. Difficulty. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was a great game, just because, like, the second it went back to normal, somebody else just yeah. landed on one immediately after. Uh. It's like, for the players that are trouble winning minigames, I don't think they ever broke, like, 15 coins at any point. I think the coin star was, like, 35 coins. That's the one. <sighs> Everybody's gonna be on Team Red. That's it. No, I'll, I'll probably be on Team Red, too. Yep, sure enough. See, now if we'd been playing Mario Party 5 and everybody hit a red space, it would have auto activated a battle game. Uh, well, there are no battle games in Mario Party 1. Time for more buried treasure. Th th I remember this one because this was the game that, like, somebody would win in the first three seconds. Yeah. It would just, like, randomly spawn right next to somebody. Yeah, see? Oh, hey! Yeah. <laughs> Finish! It's like normally they're supposed to have it like hidden in a rock or something, but it was just right there. Luigi wins! It's like I might have been able to get there, but how in the world was Mario supposed to get up like on the other side of the screen? Yeah. There we go! Yay! Nobody's gonna have enough money for the star, are they? Ah, oh, Mario got it. What? He's a fool! Watch him get pay the 10 coins, miss, get the star, and then... Oh, no, he got it. That's not the first time I've seen the computer player doing that. For anybody that's watched The Runaway Guys, you've seen that too. Where Wario was the one that did it, where he paid the 10 coins, miss, got the star, and then... Really? Screw you, game. <laughs> wow! You're tired for happening now. Okay. And for anybody wondering, just because nothing happens when you hit the happening space doesn't mean it won't count for your total. Well, I thought Mario had that star, but it's still up there. Yeah. At least I'll go back to normal after this one. Yay. Yay.
Why is there a 30 second timer? <laughs> um, is it gonna- Okay, I was about to say, is it gonna stop? What? What? No! Get off my mushroom. Finish. Man, you went like flying too. <laughs> I thought Mario had it, but... Oh, yeah, it looked like he got it. Apparently not. I'm okay with this. He wasted the last 10 coins he got from a minigame. It's back to normal! Till I roll whatever number is needed to hit that other happening space. Oh, almost. <laughs> I thought it was that, actually. <laughs> He's trying to hit one now. Pity! Yay! You can still get it. I have half your coin in this place. Yeah. More than one coin behind you. So yeah, you don't have to pay for that, really. That would be kind of annoying, because then we'd be going back to Peach's birthday cake, where you have to pay for the lottery every time. Oh, gosh. Even though you can get sent back right after. Yep, knew that was coming. Yeah. Please be one coin. That'd be really nice. <sighs> or three ten coins. It's really sad when twenty coins, like five turns in, is your first place. Twenty coins and no stars. Yep. And Fourth of the way through the game, nothing has happened. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh no. This is like an everybody wins one, but it's really awkward. I never liked this one. Star. I actually did pretty good on it that time. If it was crowding around me. <laughs> it's hard to tell if you did good on that one or not. I got 19 on that? Wow. Oh, no, no. Oh. Here we go. Oh, that was just short of it, wasn't it? Uh, well, not not just short of it, but pretty close. Hmm. Well, this brings up an interesting dilemma. Hmm. You need 20 coins for Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, why the heck not? Something just tells me you're gonna get a really crummy roll. Oh, it's not even on there. Wow. That was a communism. Nope, nope, bash and cash. Okay. I don't know if we. I know we had the game, but I don't know if we had the Bowser event for this one. Yeah. I don't think we did. But the for Bowser Bash and Cash, it functions the same as a normal game of Bash and Cash, where the one player gets the money beat out of him by the other three players. The only difference is in this one, uh, the players that knock the money out of you can't actually physically pick it up; it just goes away. Why can I not jump? And if you actually manage to dodge everybody within the time limit, Bowser will just take 15 away anyway. I cannot jump. The game is preventing me from jumping. No. I already lost like 25 coins. That was not worth missing. I'm pretty sure I lost 20 if not 25. Yep, 25. Wow, that sent me way down. Maybe I should have gone the other way for the one player. Watch Bowser get her mom get Bowser. That'd be hilarious. No, he's getting Koopa. That is a giant Hershey bar. Yes, it is. Yeah, let me see what you got. Not much. No, no, you got I, I thought that was a one for a minute. I'm like, he did get a crummy roll. I can't believe I ended up getting this. <laughs> yeah, because Mario could have gotten him, but he chose not to. He should have enough money for it, and I tried to go for it and missed it anyway. I lost 18 coins from minus blocks. <laughs> and only got four from back from a plus block. You probably lost like six from my spaces. <laughs> yeah. I 
realize that I'm likely gonna be on a team by myself. That's probably not good. Listen, there's a difference between uh, being everybody versus you and you versus everybody else. Yeah. See, that's what I don't like about the first game. It's probably my only complaint with the first game is the one on threes are so rigged. And we get this one again! But the one on threes are like so rigged. Like on this one, the three players can't do anything. Like, yeah. if they win, it's just because the one player messed up. And since I know somebody else messed this up in the project, I don't remember if it was the AI or if it was one of us, I feel no pressure in screwing up. I think I got it right, but I probably didn't. Uh, nope, I totally got it. Sweet. I don't know how I can get that one, because when I first got the game, I could not follow that at all. Yeah. It's really hard to follow even now. Oh, well, that'll make up for the 25 that I just lost. Yeah. Yay, I'm out of the gutter! I can afford the star. That's, now that it's not there anymore. You know what I can't afford, though? Chance time. Oh, nope, no chance time. Yay! <laughs> I ruined it for everyone again! Gosh dang it. I don't know if Warren is just really adamant about the happening star or just really wants to see Bowser dance. Dance that volcanic incantation. Oh wow, that's rough. The star appeared right behind him. No one's gonna get that one either. No one's close enough to it. Yeah, I know, it's so high pitch. You might actually want to check the map for this one, because I don't know where Peach is. Oh, she didn't have enough coins anyway. Yeah, but she's going to pass Koopa. Oh, is she? Yay! Well, that's gonna be cut out of the audio. <laughs> you almost had a blue space there. Oh, right, she's still on drugs. I forgot. No, please, please don't be crane game with her being the one player. <laughs> that would end poorly for me, or for Mario. Oh yeah, this is the one where I kept being the one player over and over. Yeah. Alright, Mario, stay away from me. Mario, you're in the middle, I'll go right, you left. Mario, get away from me. Mario, get away from me. <laughs> He's just jumping into an invisible wall. Oh, I jumped into that. Finish! I shall get one. She gets five coins for every player she knocks down, she gets one for the, like the extra pins. Ah. So she'll get, I think, six. Yep. I thought she had two chances. No, that's a Mario Party 2. That's where you have to knock everybody down with the two pins. I'm going nowhere fast. Mario's the only person that can afford this star, and he's not even remotely close to it right now. Almost exactly where you need to be. Oh, Peach, don't land on anything. Oh, that might not be good. Oh, don't be a one on three. Oh. Oh, man, you totally got that star. Unless something like astronomically stupid happens, you got this one. I kind of miss this game, actually. Like, this is yeah. one I feel like they should have brought back from Mario Party 2. I like this one. Get your own peach. You make the enemies go away game. Oh, 
<laughs> what is Mario doing? <laughs> I'm just hearing a whole bunch of like shrieking laughter. Oh, I was like, there's none of them left. Man, you cleaned house and that one I got stuck in the corner. Oh yeah. Oh wow, Mario really didn't get anything. Yeah, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in last place by one coin.